Well, it's been quite the day uh, this morning. I got up a little late because last night I spent quite a bit of time editing. I went over the the first few tracks that I've laid, the drum tracks and the guitar tracks. Today, unlike many years ago, I'm not sitting in front of a mixing console. I'm sitting in front of a laptop um, when I'm doing a the editing and mixing. It really does work very much the same way that Word works. If you know how a Word program works of cutting and pasting, you write down your words, which means you record tracks. And then with those words that you've written or those tracks you've recorded, you can choose your font, your, your font size, your font color, bold, italics, but when it comes to the music side then you're using effects and all sorts of things to shape your music. So it's very similar, you can cut pieces out, paste them, move them around. It's a very different way of working with music than with tape and the old days of a mixing console. So that was done and um, I also did video editing and the video editing pretty much works the same way a very easy program to learn I enjoy editing when I used to write books the writing process was very enjoyable but when I had written everything and I could sit and go over it and refine it I love that part of the journey it comes to recording music there is a lot of time Bent just sitting here. So did that late last night. I got up this morning, and this morning I set up to do main to do my first vocal take, just a guide vocal take. I call it a guide vocal take, but often I would say more than 60% of the time, the first take I do might be the take that I use for the recording just because it's raw, it's fresh, it's... So I'm open to that ha happening so that when I do my guide take, I set up as if it's a final vocal take with all, this, all the uh, equipment I would use. But my intent with this is to do a vocal take now. It was to do one today. <laughs> I never got to do it. And then uh, go through and record the rest of the song and do the rest of the instrumentation. And when everything is absolutely done, I want to go back and redo the vocals. So I set up for my vocal take and the setting of doing the vocals is important to me. I must get everything set up, be in a nice, comfortable and quiet space. And I was going to do it first thing in the morning because my voice is very relaxed. Low is very comfortable to sing in hello notes etc etc so once I'd set up for the vocals I went and had my morning coffee in the kitchen that was just a listening time with the track listening to it looking at the lyrics that I've written just listening to the song and reading the lyrics as they go through after that session hello Mrs. Pixel after that session I moved to the porch for a while and did another listening session and did some editing on the lyrics and what I'm doing when I'm doing that is I'm actually singing the song internally without using my mouth I'm singing it with my ears I'm listening to the piece of music that I have and I'm listening for the words and the music to meet each other and how that works inwardly and I just read the lyrics over and over listening to the song until I'm very happy that the words are part of the song they're not being imposed on it they're not something I've pushed on it they've really got to be something that the song is hinting at just by the way it's unfolding 
So I did that. And when I'd done that and I was about to do my vocals, fire came to visit.